So if you are cruising by yourself, one thing you're gonna learn or find out, or maybe you already know it because you're like me and you've done a ton of solo cruises, is it's gonna look and feel much different than when you go with people on a cruise. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Brandon the Weekend Cruiser where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend and I am traditionally a solo cruiser. I go by myself on all these cruise ships like 90, 95% of the time and I love it. I'm relaxing, I'm getting away. It's such a great experience, but it is different if you've been with people than going with yourself or in my case, if I go by myself so much, I'm used to this and when I go with people, I have to remember that things go a little bit different. So here's my top 10 list on how it is different when you cruise by yourself versus when you cruise with others. The first one, and this is probably the biggest one, is you meet more people when you cruise by yourself. And it's just, I don't think that when you're with a group that you don't intend to meet people, but when you are a with a group or with others, you become very insular. You just sit around talking to each other, hanging out with each other, going to dinner with each other, seeing the shows with each other, and you don't get the opportunity to talk to others or to bring others into the conversation because you're just so busy talking with each other. In my case, I'm sitting around hanging out by myself and you know, there's times where I get to jump into conversations. There's time where people bring me into conversations because they see me by myself. This normally doesn't happen when you're in groups. So the first one and the biggest one is you're gonna meet more people. Granted, not everybody's experience is like this. If you're an introvert, by the way, and wanna come on a cruise ship and not meet anybody, you will also be very successful. You don't have to meet people. So your list may look a little bit different than mine. The second thing that I'll say that I do is I talk less and relax more when I am by myself. So. When I'm by myself, I talk with you all a lot. I come in here and I shoot videos. That's the main talking that I do. So as much as I'm meeting other people, I'm still not going to dinner with people, going to shows, doing bar calls with them. I am hanging out by myself. And so I don't talk as much. Like, yeah, there's people that I'll go into conversations with, but we're not sitting around chit-chatting for three or four hours with people that I just met traditionally. Not that I'm opposed to that, but that's normally just not how it is. So I talk less when I am by myself. When I cruise by myself, the third one here changes is the food. So when I am by myself, I am a lot more likely to go to the buffet versus going to the main dining room. It's not over the fact that, you know, I don't like eating in the main dining room by myself. That doesn't bother me at all. I just don't wanna be bothered with spending that much time in the main dining room. If I get the right wait staff, there's sometimes I see me by myself or I can give them the cue that, hey, I'm trying to get in, get out. But for the most part, I wanna be able to go to the gym and then go directly to the buffet in my workout attire and I'll go up there, eat what I want to, and then I am done 20 minutes later. It is super easy. But when you come with people on the cruise, they're gonna want the more formal, proper experience for the most part. They're gonna to wanna to go to the main dining room, have that full, elegant three, four course meal and enjoy time with you, get to know you better, get to chat with you um, and catch up and that you just don't have to do when you're by yourself. The fourth thing that I do um, that not everybody likes, a lot of people don't like this one, is when I'm by myself, I will sit in the very front row of a theater show or I'm sitting in the very last row of a theater show. If I am going with others, they're gonna say, eh, can we like split the difference here, Brandon? Like, let's go sit in the middle and get really good seats so that we can see the show. Uh, and you know, as a solo person, I learned a long time ago that the performers on stage really like it when people sit on the front row because they can see you, they feel the energy, they see you smiling and clapping. They like having people on those front rows. And so for a show that I'm familiar with and that I like, I try to support the cast or the headliner by sitting in the front row. If it is somebody that I don't know, I'm going to the back because I want to be able to easily make my escape. If I'm by myself again, I don't have to coordinate with the person sitting beside of me. This is like a, what, what are we on, four? This is like a four part B. I don't have to coordinate with the person beside of me and hey, do you want to stay for this show? Cause it's kind of sucking wind right now. Or I can just get up and leave if I'm by myself. It's so much easier. And so for that reason, I like to sit in the back. But again, when you go with people, you're sitting in the middle and you're probably committed to that show. The fifth thing that I'm more likely to do is just walk around the ship. So one of the things that I fell in love with cruise ships on is I ran out of things to do eventually. Like I tell people that, you know, I'll stay in the cabin, I'll go to the pool. Eventually, like I just kind of run out of things that I start walking around the ship, just seeing what's going on, trying to find something until I finally sit down and go, huh, I think I'll just read a book or relax here. And so I find myself walking around the ship a lot more by myself versus if I'm cruising with somebody else, we're probably gonna sit and stay put for a while. We're gonna go and do one activity and we're not gonna be bouncing all over the place because we have each other to keep company and to talk through and enjoy. And it just, it's different when you're by yourself. 
you don't feel like you need to do things as long as when you're with a group of people. Or maybe it's just part of my personality. Like I like bouncing around to this activity, to that activity, and doing a lot of different things. But I find myself when I'm by myself walking around the ship more, exploring more, versus when I'm with people, we're sitting down and holding court in a bar, in a lounge, by the pool, and we're not actively walking around that much. And the sixth thing that I really do here is I stay on the ship a lot more when in port, when I am by myself, versus when I am with others. So when I'm by myself on a ship and we're in, let's say, Coco Cay, I've been there a lot. I've been to Coco Cay a lot these days. And I don't feel the need to get off of anything. I like staying on the ship and enjoying an empty ship. I get everything to myself for the most part, and it is glorious. In Nassau, many of you will say that, hey, like, that's just not a spot that you want to get off. I think that Nassau has some gyms. So there are places to go. Watch the full video on um, the walking tour to find some of the gyms. If you're looking for things to do, that'll give you where you need to go. Step by step instructions. There's things to do. You just need to know where to go. I've done those things. I've done those things a lot. So I don't feel compelled to do those. If I am with a group of people though, they came here number one to see the ship, but also to see all the ports that we're going to. So if we're in Coco Cay, we're getting off the ship and we are checking out what Coco Cay has to offer. Same in Nassau. I'm leading the group, the group tour, if you will, or the self-guided tour at that point to show everybody what uh, Nassau has to offer and stopping in some of the wonderful restaurants that they also have there. The seventh thing that I don't do when I'm by myself is I don't do a lot of the group activities. So as much as I walk around trying to find things to do, I often don't do them. I'm not playing trivia. I'm not doing karaoke. I'm not going to those events. I don't do quest anymore. Um, things that I've done, I've seen it, I've experienced it, and they're still fun. And I probably could go to them and really enjoy them. But I kind of like relaxing. One of the things that I love about cruise ships is I get away, I can read my book, I can work on YouTube, I can have some fun in the stateroom, and it's, it's super easy. Versus if I come with a group of people or someone else, guess what they want to do? Trivia, karaoke, see all the shows. They want to be at the sailaway party. Things that I've not done in multiple cruises since I cruise by myself so much, but I know that they want to see those activities. They're here for the vibe and this is their first time. So I try to keep it in mind that they want to do these things. And of course, I'm happy to be a tour guide. The eighth thing that I do here, and this will surprise none of you if you've watched the channel for a while, is if I am by myself, I'm going to bed early. And by early, I mean at 1030. That is my normal go to bed time. If I'm doing things the way that I want on a cruise ship, I'm normally coming back to the room about 10. I'm asleep by 1030. And then I wake up at about seven o'clock, 730 in the morning to enjoy the ship once again before it really gets going. I don't necessarily need to do the nightlife these days. I'd rather get a good night's sleep. But other people that come here and they're like, hey, I'm on vacation. We're going out tonight. I'm at the club, I'm at the bars, I'm hanging out until, let's say 12 o'clock. That might be the most that I can push it these days, maybe 12.30. Um, but they wanna go and experience the nightlife that all these weekend crews have. And they have such an amazing nightlife that if that is what you want to experience when you come on a ship, especially come with me, I'm absolutely gonna be a great wingman for you. And the night thing here, and I know this is an issue for a lot of people, is when it comes to boarding the cruise ship, if I am by myself, I am literally one of the last people to get on the ship. If it is 3.30 or 4 o'clock all aboard, this cruise I'm sitting on the MSC Magnifica. It was a 4 o'clock all aboard. I showed up at 3.50 in the afternoon to board the ship. So I board late. If I am with other people though, guess what time they want to board? Not 10 minutes before all aboard. Um, they want to be there as soon as the doors open, especially for these short weekend cruises, to maximize the time that they're going to have here. They want to get on as soon as that gangway opens, and they're going to stay on as late as they can. I don't do that. Um, I'm getting here pretty late whenever the boarding time is when I'm by myself, but if I'm coming with others, I try to come a little bit early, but I'm still getting bad about being like, I'll just meet you there. I'll be there later. I'll meet you at dinner. Um, I still try to board late, but I know that they're going to want to board much, much earlier. And the 10th thing here is when I travel by myself, the room can kind of get messy. Like you can't see it because I clean it up, but I've got technology going everywhere, cords going everywhere. I can be really bad about, um, like there's a shirt laying over here. I'm not horribly messy, but I can allow things to be a little disorganized from time to time, mainly because there's limited counter space and I've got a lot of stuff that I bring with me on the cruise. If I'm cruising with somebody else in my cabin, which doesn't happen too terribly often, um, I try to be a lot neater and keep everything more condensed, more concise, so that I don't monopolize the entire room. I try to be more organized. It's just really tough. When I'm with a group or somebody else is in my cabin, I absolutely try to be more organized. When I'm by myself, I kind of just let things go. 
And if you're looking at doing your very first solo cruise, I know a lot of you are apprehensive about it, make sure you're checking out these two videos. Number one, on how can you have solo cruiser confidence? Not everybody's born with, I don't care what people think about me mentality if I'm cruising by myself or eating by myself. That's something that I've had to even grow into and I talk about that in this video or check out the other video and just frequently ask questions. Things that I get asked all the time as a solo cruiser of those looking at doing it, really informative video to help you do your very first sailing. And of course, if you don't want to jump into the deep end and do a solo cruise by yourself, check out the group cruise newsletter down below. We have plenty of cruises coming up that you can join me and others. The crowd's about 50% solo folks that we all come together and is the best of both worlds. Here about his friend with this is further where I thought we can cruise just about to the media rain. But maybe I'm aiming now that it broke or right cool. Uh, and I'm leaving them all. I've got to there. That's it, my, yeah. Okay, if I here by myself, so, uh, I'll I've got to all my gateway that I could film this off to, and I lost this. Alright, everybody, this spread the weekend through that I was seeing, I'll be a bit soon.